almost 30 yards out. That corner of his line. Cooper. Pumps it in as a flick and it's a goal. Came off Clark. Might just have been a deflection. Cooper will claim the credit. 16 minutes gone. Tremendous ball by David Cooper. Left foot. Might just have been a slight touch from Sandy Clark. Cooper in the way by Aiken. Knocked down and chance from McKinnon. And it was deflected. It's a goal. McKinnon's shot deflected by Clark. 2-0. 23 minutes. It didn't look a great deal of danger there. Cooper who got the first one. She set up the first one. Sets up the second as well. Ball knocked out. Knocked back in instantly there. McKinnon shot. Deflected. Bonner going the wrong way. Sandy Clark leaps in the air with delight. I wasn't really angry at half time. I felt disappointed for the players because they had gone out and they had played well in the first half. Normally in that situation, 2-0 down in an old firm game, uh, Billy would be, would be trying to get a tactical message across where we were going wrong. He would certainly be booting a few backsides. Um, and halfway through his talk, we became aware that the Celtic supporters were in full voice outside. We could hear them singing, you'll never walk alone. And um, I remember Billy saying, just stopping his team talk and saying, listen, listen to these people outside. They, they haven't given up. And, and neither should you. You're two 0 down, but you have to give these people something. The Celtic support, who the, to a man, had raised the flags, and it was a, a fantastic rendition of "You'll Never Walk Alone." And I think the, the fact that Rangers took their time coming out uh, possibly went against them because we stood for two or three minutes just watching it, and uh, you could see the guys just just rising up. Uh, and as soon as the game started, that second 45 minutes was unbelievable. Robin through to the edge of the box, but stay back to Bob and a brilliant move. Referee indicating a penalty, I think, for that challenge. Carson doesn't like it. Mr McGinley is adamant it's a penalty kick. Corbin making ground, forcing his way through, chips it sideways. The flick forward by McStay. Corbin trying to collect at a turn pass, brought down. Penalty kick, says Mr McGinley. Peter McCoy facing Charlie Nicholas. 2-1. Beautifully struck away by Nicholas. There's Nicholas. One putting McCoy. The corner of the net. Perfectly struck kick. Aiken and McKinnon at the post. Robin with a floater, biting a back header, it's in! McAdam scores! Robin, Aiken, McAdam, goal, 2-2. There's the move, the near post corner from Robin, floated in. Aiken up, wins it well. McAdam moves in in a killer position between the goalkeeper and the defender. It's in the net, and it's 2-2. So there's more than 17 minutes to play. 2-2. Proven. McGarvey, goal! Superb free kick, magnificent header. Celtic down 2-0 at one point, lead 3-2. There's Proven's free kick. McGarvey, straight through, flying into the back of the net. A superb goal. Rangers 2, Celtic 3. Frank McGarvey the score up. 28 minutes gone in the second half. Five minutes left. Dawson trying a pass back. Picked up by McLeod. Brought down by Dawson. Penalty kick. Well, Ali Dawson put himself under pressure there. By miscuing. Cloud was going through, Dawson made the return challenge. Bethany McGinley, six yards away, indicates penalty number two for Celtic. So, booking finale, Dawson. Four minutes from time here in this dramatic match at Ibrox. Charlie Nicholas has already scored from the spot. His first kick went to McCoy's right. 
Clear with a second one goal. Same place. McCoy nearly got it. Nicholas's second penalty of the match. Celtic's fourth goal in this quite extraordinary contest. He again decided to pick the same corner. McCoy guessed that he would do it. Threw himself to his right. Touched the ball. Couldn't hold it. Into the back of the net. Only just. Rangers 2. Celtic 4.